Well, there's been a lot of good things. We're going to read a new story today called The Shortcut by Joel Chartier. I'll read the page and then you read the page. Anna and Jackson walked home from school every day. They take the long way because it is safe. They know the way, and now it is a habit. One day, they were late leaving school. They had to be home by 4 p.m. They decided to take a shortcut. They had to walk in front of Mrs. Brown's house. She hadn't been seen for years. Her house was falling apart and looked spooky. The grass was long. The gate was broken. There were cobwebs everywhere. Anna and Jackson were nervous. They held each other's hands. They walked quickly. They couldn't help but look at the house. They tried to keep walking, but something made them stop. Where was Mrs. Brown? Was she a witch? Was her house haunted? Meow, called the cat from behind the house. Let's go look, said Jackson. Not a good idea, replied Anna as she went behind Jackson. They found a young kitten caught in a tree. She could not climb down by herself. I have an idea, said Anna. Let me climb on your back, Jackson. Jackson bent down and Anna climbed on. Jackson stood up and Anna felt tall. She reached the lowest branch with her arms.
She pulled herself up and climbed the tree. She took the kitten in her arms and climbed down. She jumped from the lowest branch, still holding the kitten. You were very brave, came a voice from the house. Anna and Jackson turned around. They had forgotten that moments ago they were scared. They only wanted to help the kitten. They went to the door. They saw an old lady in a wheelchair inside. Please bring her to me, said Mrs. Brown. I don't know how I would have gotten her down. Thank you so much. Anna and Jackson smiled as they gave her the kitten. They did not listen to their fears. They followed their hearts. They knew they had made a difference. Ever since then, they take the shortcut home from school and wonder about what they were ever frightened about. Zaneda, Anna and Jackson were being silly because they were worried that Mrs. Brown was a witch or a ghost because they didn't know they didn't know her. Do you believe in witches and ghosts? Now they now that they've met Mrs. Brown, they've met a new friend. That's the end of our story. I'll see you later.